Okay, this lesson we're going to talk about systems of equations. Oftentimes where equations with multiple variables can't be solved in isolation, they can be when taken in conjunction with another equation with the same variable. So, you might not be able to figure out one equation with multiple variables, but you may be able to figure out two if they overlap. There's three methods to solve systems of equations on the GED. Graphing, addition, also called elimination, or substitution. The first method is graphing system of equations. You're going to graph them, both the equations as lines. So if I had y equals 2x plus 2 and y equals x minus 1, we'd graph both those equations. And then you'd look for the intersection, where they intersect, where they meet up. And remember x and y. So then that's your answer. Very simple. That's all you do. So you graph both of them. So we have for the answer then, okay, the x value would be negative 3. Y value would be negative 4. The answer to that system of equation is negative 3 and negative 4. That's it. Now we're going to take those same, those same numbers and solve that using addition or elimination. It's also called cancellation. On the GED, I think currently they're calling it elimination. But it changes periodically. So what we're going to do is add both equations and isolate the number on one side. So we have y equals 2x plus 2, y equals x minus 1, and now we have to make either the x or y value cancel out. So remember we got that number on one side, 2x minus y equals negative 2. Okay. Now, and we have y minus x equals negative 1. So now what we're going to do is making the x or the y value cancel out. The way we get it to cancel out is, you see how we have negative y, positive y, cancels out. Bam, done. So now it's 2x minus x equals negative 3. x equals negative 3. So now we put that x value back into, you could pick whichever equation is easiest to solve, just pick the easier one. I'll pick x minus 1 since there's less numbers. Be lazy. It pays to be lazy for once on this. And I go y equals negative 3 minus 1 equals negative 4. Okay, so we got the same answer. Negative 3, negative 4. You see, it's the exact same answer we got by graphing it. Graphing it's usually... If you can graph things quickly, graphing it's usually the easiest way to solve these problems. If you can't, the second easiest way is usually this method, the second one, elimination. All right, you can also multiply to make these to make them cancel out. It's it's basically just algebra. What you you, you got to go back. If you want, you may want to pause this and review this a bit. But again, you have to make one of them cancel out. So you're removing one of them, either the x or the y. So that's gone. And then you're solving for one of them and then you're plugging that number back in and solving for the other one. The last one is substitution. I don't really recommend using this on the exam because it tends to be harder and it'll probably take you longer. You isolate the number on one side and the variable on the other. So y equals 2x plus 2, y equals x minus 1, again the same thing. y equals x minus 1, so we're going to plug in for the variable in that term and solve. Okay, so y equals x minus 1. All right, so the y on one side of the equation, we're turning from y into x minus 1. So we're going to turn it into x minus 1 equals 2x plus 2. You see how we're substituting? That's where they get it from. So we get x and all the numbers on their respective sides. We go, okay, 2x plus 2 minus x. That's negative 1 equals x plus 2. Negative 3 equals x. And then we back solve. So x equals negative 3. So we plug that back in and we go, oh, okay. negative 3 minus 1. y equals negative 3 minus 1. We get the same answer as the previous two, which is going to be negative 3, negative 4. Okay, and that's it. I'll see you in the next video.